Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon, last time! We explored the dig sites and ancient ruins beneath old clockworks, and found out that there is yet another poltergeist running amok in this mansion. Specifically, it is holding onto one of the two clock hands that we need to operate the main gate. This time, we're going back into old clockworks to hopefully find said poltergeist and get his treasure. Let's get started. Guess what, Luigi? The periscope was able to find that poltergeist that took the clock hands. Its signal is different than the other ghosts. I suspect that we may be dealing with an ancient poltergeist. Very exciting stuff. Capturing an ancient ghost would make for groundbreaking research. All right then, he seems to have settled in the roundhouse. Be very careful in there, Luigi. Ghosts tend to gain power over time, and this poltergeist seems to be absolutely ancient. I guess you could say he has a lot of time on his hands. <laughs> Get it? Time on his hands? Because he has the clock hands? Luigi doesn't get it! <laughs> I should do that every time somebody doesn't laugh at my unfunny jokes. He has the perfect setup that I dream of. I've never actually seen that intro before either. I gotta wonder how many of them there are because it's the second time that's happened and I think this is my, yeah, third full time playing through this game, but I played a lot of the missions on repeat before to try to get better ranks and just for fun. So yeah, that's a lot of detail. Anyway, Egad was nice enough to drop us off right next to where we need to go. Only the third time he has done that across all of the missions that we have played. Inside the warehouse. I'm gonna take this robotic bomb Gonna pop him out over there. That's a surprising amount of force, actually. And let's activate him right around this place. Because if we do that, uh, please don't go boom on me. Yes, we can get rid of these spider webs and open up the rest of the mansion. Unlike before, it is actually kind of worth your time to go and explore all those other rooms if you want to get as much money as possible. Just thought I'd mention that it wasn't like that in the previous mission, but it's back to being like that again should you want to go out there and get every last little bit of coinage that you can. Also, the robotic bomb will respawn an endless number of times, allowing you to keep going in there. We also have this conveniently suction-powered elevator, which now there is a robotic bomb that'll allow us to destroy this rubble that was in our way before, allowing us to do a little bit more exploring than we could. I still kind of sad for them in that pose. Hey, hey, come back, come back. Don't go away. You're totally luring me into a trap, but I don't care because there's money involved. Uh, okay, keep going. Keep going. Ah, you can't keep going anymore. You're not exactly in a position to be laughing at me. Just say, get him over the scaffolding. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, good. I was trying to get him over that so all the money wouldn't fall to the floor below and probably despawn before I could get it. By following him, you can also get this green spool. I'm not totally sure what's in this. Add basically another gold greenie inside it, but without having to drain its 20 HP first. I like it. And then also there is yet another spool that we can see from the second floor that was normally out of our view that you can find right there. We'll see what that's got in it as well, and then we will be on our merry little Italian way. Except there is nothing little about me. I'm the tall one. Uh, oh. I'm blowing on it. <laughs> These clockmakers are rolling in it, wow. Decided to check around a little bit more to make sure there was nothing else in the immediate area. Let's go into the roundhouse. And already get our gold bone. <laughs> Going over here to the middle, you can see that the way is still unfortunately blocked off, even though it, he totally should be able to run up that. Hello. Good job, Luigi. You made it to the roundhouse, but hmm, the poltergeist signal is on the other side of the room. You'll need to find a way to cross that gap. If I were you, I'd shave my mustache and try the lift in the warehouse. Don't you dare talk that way about my facial hair. It is one of my defining characteristics that I only have because the limitations of the graphics on the NES of interviews are to be believed. Let's hop back on the lift. 
Raise up once again. I have probably wasted so much valuable time doing this. And now, we can go through this door to the clockmaker's chambers. Are you the clockmaker? Greeny asleep right there. Suck up that rug. And you can see that his alarm clock is set for nine o'clock. As you rotate this, again, conveniently suction powered wheel, you can make it nine o'clock or you can go way beyond it. And his alarm clock will go off, yay! You also get some really nice slapstick comedy in the process. Hey, you took your bucket off. That's a very big mistake. Uh, oh, uh, give me your ruby. You know, Egad just said that ghosts gain power over time, meaning that Greenies obviously haven't been dead for very long. Did this guy die tonight from sleeping with a bucket on his head? Because that's not very safe. <laughs> There's your morbid thought for today. <laughs> Get that, our first gem of, well, I don't want to say of how many though, but it does kind of follow a bit of a pattern and that's kind of why I said that out of force of habit. I just totally give away how many there are. But I'll pretend like I didn't. I'll pretend like there is still at least some air of mystery in the collectibles that we are picking up. Also making that alarm clock go off again is kind of funny. Nothing? Okay, just wanted to make sure. By going through this door through the clockmaker's chambers, we end up in the upper part of the roundhouse. Hello? There he is, Luigi! Hmm, but you need to reach the other side of the room to get down there. Ah, you can use the beams to get across. Use the circle pad to jump from beam to beam. I hope you're not afraid of heights, youngster. <laughs> I saw some treasure over this, or no I didn't, okay. <laughs> Let's just get on the beams. Now what's really nice is that even though I did play through this whole game without knowing about the Mojang controls, rail transferring is surprisingly really smooth. Luigi got it right in one game. What's your excuse, Sonic? <laughs> Let's keep going, keep going. Let's get rid of that clock tower thing right there. Is there anything on this wall? It looks awfully bare. Oh, I, I guess it looks bare because I got rid of the poster, but that's besides the point. Let's look through here. You can see that there's some money up top, though, but surprisingly, there's not any sort of ghostly hijinks to really see. Okay. Uh, gee, an open door. I wonder if the wind is going to happen. And it did. We can still go through it, though. It's really weird. map, we can see that there is another way into the roundhouse over here, but the door is locked. I think you can tell what it is that we need to do. I thought this door was locked, but I looked down at the map and saw the door was green about one second too late. So instead, I want to go back for just a moment and walk over these rails, see what we can find, because it's probably going to be pretty worth our time to do so. So far, it is not, because two coins is, well, it is actually pocket change. There's nothing clever about calling it that. Get all these, oh, gold bars, okay. We walk down this way, because there's no wall in front of us. Get a chest, and there is, not a gold star, but a red star. Back into the transportation hall, we try to walk towards the key, but we find out that they had a treadmill pre-installed in this hall. I don't know why I suddenly feel the need to talk French. I guess there are good French clockmakers. I would at least assume there are. That sounds like a part of the world where it would come from. Also, very, very obvious tell right there. We can see that that is just a sheet. Can't blow on it to illustrate that again though, but oh well. What we can do is get rid of the spider web and we can walk back behind this window. We could also see that it was an illusion when we looked at the people, so it was worth that as well. And there is yet another rattling door that goes to nowhere, so we will walk out there and like in a Wile E. Coyote cartoon, fall off of a cliff. Lucky for us, Alternate dimensions are a thing. Memorize this while you still can, because... Oh, actually, no, it's a lot more visible than I thought it is. I don't know if it's because the screen brightness of the recreation of the screen on my desktop, but it actually looks pretty good. I remember this being a lot harder to see. Maybe it's because I was out in public and the sun made it harder to see, even though I had the brightness up. I don't know. Okay, I was worried over nothing. Let's get that, get even more gold bars. I'm always a fan of taking money from alternate dimensions. 
Don't know where I could go with that any further than I already have. Let's go back through this way. Do I need you for anything, really? I don't think I actually do. I mean, you would be kind of nice to use as a as a way of revealing all the ghosts in here, because you're really good at doing that. Uh, anything? No, I can't really pop you in there and do anything with you, so I guess not. Um... You know what? Yeah, let's blow you up. You can see that this thing is watching you. You can blow up right near it. Nope. Dark light device. Reveal you. Hey, buddy! You know, just because I'm making you visible doesn't mean you have to take off the mask. That is kind of a fail-safe way of dealing with the strobel, but uh, don't tell anybody that I told you that. Especially not Egad, or he would have my hide. Uh, nope. Can't get them both. Gimme! I knew that the dark light thing worked for these guys, I just didn't think it worked for the shovel guys, though, because I do remember using it on them, because you have to, but... Yeah, I didn't really use it on those other enemies. I guess I just kind of assumed it only worked for this one because that's what made sense to me. Let's get those dollar bills that we saw through the peephole. Any second now that all you want to fall would be great. Thank you. That is every one of them? And I saw some money up here as well. I think it was just regular old coins. Yeah, I don't need the small change. I'm okay. That one coin can be left behind. In a past life, I'd be ashamed of myself for leaving that coin behind. But you know what happened? They introduced time limits over these missions, and that took precedence over all else. So I had to begin leaving coins behind, why else but to survive. This, and the container yard, I remember this area being really cool. So we got yet another weight puzzle, if that scale is to be believed. We can pull on this, and just keep dumping robotic bombs out. See that these crates have something to them? I'm mashing X on it. Thank you. There you are. Hey, buddy. And there you are. I knew you were going to appear. Oh. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Okay. Line ourselves up a little bit better. No. 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 Oh. Oh, jeez. These guys hurt. I know that they're very true to their name and that they hurt. I know that just from looking at them, you would know that they're the heavy hitters of the bunch, but still. Really sucks when two of them get you like that or whenever they gang up on you. By lowering, by uh, weighting that down, we can now walk across this. But after getting across, this other one that was at ground level before is now risen up, as it is a scale. So you know what we do? We blow up innocent robots, and we let them open the way for us. Isn't technology amazing? It sounds like the more you know jingle or something like that right when I said that. Let's go into this door. I don't need to kill those spiders, I am good. Kiln room! Got some smoke that is going through here. We can suck it up with the poltergust to make it a little bit more clearly visible around here, but it's not doing all that much good. Wow, um... I know what a ghost is. <laughs> I know what a ghost is, wonderful point that I am making. <laughs> uh, I was about to say, having somebody's ghost haunting the inside of a kiln I sort of feel sorry for this guy and how he must have died. Now that we have done that, we can now suck up all of the steam, and now that'll react to our strobulb, whereas it would not have earlier. We are going to foolishly enter a kiln that is still operational. Luckily, the world's not quite that mean to Luigi. And get ourselves these ghosts. Now, Budonculus is in the building. My name makes no sense. <laughs> this is one of my favorite boos in namesake, and the really cool part is, he's actually a required boo. You don't often see that. I think we've only had one other instance of that up to this point, maybe two. But you need to fight this boo in order to clear this mission. He will always appear in this room, and, oh, what? Actually, I don't think you need to fight him to go onward, though, but you'd be a fool not to, unless you're a speedrunner, below. but I think you need to get a certain number of boos, though, and this is a really easy one that's not on the beaten path, so I'm sure it would be on speedrunning rates. And you disappoint me, you're not bludgeoning your head into the walls as fast as your brethren did. Give me that. I'm actually getting kind of low on health, I just realized. I saw it go down to 40, though, but it just kind of sunk in right now. I was hoping he would go into the kiln. Uh, okay, you made up for a little bit in the second act. You had a really weak first act where you didn't hit your head that many times per second, though, but no, you made up for it after that. The pipes, the pipes were a nice touch. It was a very unique performance from the other boos that we saw. I'm such an aficionado on head drama.
Let's, uh, let's pull this and see what it gives us. I could really go for some hearts right about now. Oh! Gold robotic bomb! These stay in place, and then they make one mad dash right at the very end, and then blow up into gold bars. Kinda nice! Not really all that hard to deal with if you know how they work. And I just happen to know how they work, as I just d demonstrated right there. And another gold bar. And there is our key. Gonna pull on that. And, okay. Step on these gears. I Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Step on a gear that is down, it'll spring up from your weight. You can go across, ride these wheels back, and get that. Only one place to go now. I think we've gotten pretty much anything that I care to get in this long hallway of different rooms. This is, again, a really neat area. I like just the variety again. You got the kiln and just sucking up all the steam with the poltergust. It's an interesting puzzle. Very creative. They really went all out with all the things that you could do with it here. We are back in the roundhouse. We are on the ground floor and on the other side of the room. What a convoluted pathway to have taken. But we do what we must to bust ghosts. This is very obviously a blanket. Suck that up, get even more treasure. Anything, anything, uh... Well, that's something. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm a hoi, me hoi, me noi, yeah, noi. Just what it sounds like to me, as I've said before, we have an ancient poltergeist. He only has 100 HP. So much for all the hyping that Egad had done up to this point. Just like the other poltergeist, he's able to manipulate, I guess, books and bricks are more or less the same thing in video game terms. You can't really read the books in the video game verse, so they might as well be the same thing. He'll throw those at you, make your life a little bit miserable in the process, just dodge out of the way, and then when he's low on health, then unleash your burst attack. He'll create some tornadoes, and that's kind of, well, problematic for you. I also just realized I think we've missed a treasure in here after I was doing so well. Just keep getting out of the way. Please let me have a few moments to collect it. Please let me have a few moments to collect it. I don't want to miss a treasure. Not that it really matters all that much for you, though, but I'd really like to have another perfect run, though, because I've only had one gem that I've missed so far. I'm actually pretty impressed with myself. Sneaker, they're gonna get you. I will get him on the next one, though. There's no way that he's gonna have enough health to survive another round with me. Get you. Oh, nope, not quite. Wasn't fast enough. There's that bomb, throwing another one at me after this. You can actually get into the middle and ride that if you need to get out of the way quickly. I just suggest doing it in short bursts like I did right there. Okay, throw more bombs at me that are very unthreatening and very easy to avoid. Oh, two more sneakers, okay. Got the sneaker, but not the poltergeist. And your scare was completely ineffective. Not really sure how that works, but I'll take it. You. And get you, you only have 10 health. Not gonna get the full charge, but I will take whatever it is I can get. Oh my God, yes, I have to pick up the clock hand. Yes, I have to pick up the clock hand. Oh my God, I can go back and get it. I just realized in the middle of the boss fight, there is this area that you can walk inside of. We even saw it from the other side of the room earlier. Ah, <laughs> uh, got it, okay. That is three gems. There is the clock hand. Now, from the other side, we can activate, I said we can activate, yes, okay, there it goes. Wasn't going the first time. Thought for a second, I'm like, wait, am I remembering this wrong? No, we can activate that mechanism and get the clock hand. Hey, that shouldn't be checked off. That said recover the clock hands. There was only one clock hand to be collected. Egad, you are cheating us out of a longer mission. You blame me for the length of these videos, blame Egad. He's the one who calls us early before we've achieved our objectives. We recovered the clockets. No, we we freaking didn't. Maybe he's just delusional in his old age. I don't know. Don't want that poltergeist escaping from the poltergeist. Hold on. Oh yes. Oh, oh. I did it. Ah. Ho, ho. Seventeen minutes right on the nose. Lost a lot more health than I would like to admit. Got a lot more money than I would like to admit. On my taxes, triple star rank yet again. Yeah. Oh, 
Well done, my boy. Well done, my boy. That Poltergeist telekinetic power was no match for the Poltergeist 5000. Poltergeist versus Poltergeist, battle of the century. Oh, and your uh, tremendous strength and courage, of course. Jam! 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 Boo! Altergeist! Boo! Treasure! Almost an upgrade! It hurts! Now, let's see those clock hands. Hate to tell you, but it's a singular, not a plural. Criminy! That's only the minute hand. Where's the hour hand? Well, one hand is better than no hands, I suppose. But where could that other hand be? I'll try to come up with a plan to find our missing hour hand. In the meantime, why don't you go wash up? The ghostly goose smell coming from your overalls is making me a little woozy. I am so sorry that I am so disgusting smelling after doing all of your hard, dirty work. That clears us yet another mission with all the collectibles we can get. And I think that's where we're gonna end things off because why would I do two missions in a row? Next time on Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Well, we've recovered the minute hand, but the hour hand is still missing. I've detected some signals in the clockworks court. So let's start our search there. See you guys then. <laughs> Ha ha ha!